Hello everyone, welcome back to eight another session for topic trigonometry and in this session we will be discussing few more questions on this topic. So let us begin with this particular question which is based on the compound angle formula of cot. What is the value of 1 minus tan 2 degrees into cot 62 degrees upon tan 152 degrees minus cot 88 degrees. So you can see that the form of the question is like resembling with the formula of cot for compound angle either cot of a plus b it could be or possibly cot of a minus b we will find out first of all we will convert this tan into cot so that will give you 1 minus you know tan 2 degree is equals to cot 88 degrees because 88 plus 2 is equals to 90 2 and 88 are complementary so tan 2 is equals to complementary ratio cot 88 isn't it into cot 62 degrees divided by tan 152 Tan of 150 degrees, you can write it as tan of 90 plus 62 degrees and 90 plus 62. So, it is in the second quadrant where tan is negative and it is a complementary relation. So, minus cot of 62 degrees, is not it? So, the denominator begin becoming minus cot 62 degrees minus cot 88 degrees. So, we can take the minus sign common in the denominator and send it to the numerator which will give you cot 88 into cot 62 minus 1 upon the denominator cot 88 degrees plus cot 62 degrees. So, you can see that this is the result of the cot of A plus B formula that is 88 plus 62 which is yes it will be 70 plus 80 which is cot of 150 degrees. 150 degrees you can split it as 90 plus 60. So, cot of 90 plus 60 in the second quadrant become minus tan 60 and tan 60 you know root 3. So, overall answer goes to minus root 3 and hence the answer option B for this question. Coming upon to the next question, here it is given that sin A plus 2 times sin 2A plus sin 3A is equal to which of the following? Here in the option you see that they mention it can be like two statements which are correct or at the most all the three are correct. So, we have to find out which are correct statements here. So, check the statement one by one but before that you first simplify the given question sin A as it is then 2 sin 2A can be written as 4 sin A into cos A by you know sin 2A formula and sin 3A you know that it is 3 sin A minus 4 sin cube A as a formula right. So, in this you see the simplification sin A plus 3 sin A 4 sin A then we have got minus 4 sin cube A then we have plus 4 sin A into cos A. So, if you take from first two terms 4 sin A common you will get 1 minus sin square A remaining which is you know becoming cos square A is not it that is it cos square A and uh, the remaining term is 4 times sin A into cos A. So, now you can see that out of these two terms, the term that can be taken common is 4 times sin A cos A. So, in the bracket you are remain with cos A plus 1. Now, this step taken here becomes is equals to 2 times sin 2A because 4 times sin A cos A you can combine it as 2 times sin A cos A which is sin 2A into 2 remaining and 1 plus cos A we have a formula in trigonometry half angle formula that is 2 times cos square A by 2. So, overall you are getting 4 sin 2A into cos square A by 2. So, you can see that this is the one of the statement that is your statement number 1 given. So, statement 1 is correct. Now you see can you get the statement number 2. In statement number 2 you should get sin a by 2 plus cos a by 2 which is impossible to get there because you are getting only one term cos square a by 2 right. Keeping the sin 2 as it is we cannot get out of this cos square a by 2 sin, sin a by 2 plus cos a by 2 which is demanded in the statement 2. So statement 2 we cannot get it for sure. So statement 3 you can check. So, definitely you can hint getting hint that that option will be yes C but I would like to verify that for you the question number I mean in this question the third statement is also correct because if you open that formula now this sin 2A formula here if you again substitute the formula here it becomes 8 
sin a into cos a into the remaining term cos square a by 2 which is actually given that as the third statement. So third statement and first statement are same just a step difference. So statement 1 and 3 are correct and hence the answer option C. Coming on to the next question now. So this question you have product of four brackets but there is a connection in the angles pi by 8 and the you can have the conversion of this pi by 8 angle in terms of the other angle because if you see this uh, 5 pi by 8 angle you can express as pi minus 3 pi by 8. So basically 3 pi by 8 angle ratio you can try to convert into ratio of pi pi by 8 angle because they are related with the help of the angle pi as their sum. Similarly, pi by 8 and 7 pi by 8 are the same. So, 7 pi by 8 you can replace it by pi minus pi by 8. So, accordingly the question is 1 plus cos pi by 8 I am keeping it as it is. 1 plus cos 3 pi by 8 I am keeping it as it is. Whereas, now when I am writing about this third bracket cos pi by 8, 5 pi by 8 can you write that will be cos of pi minus apply here cos on both sides. So, cos of pi minus 3 pi by 8, 180 minus theta, cos of 180 minus theta second quadrant minus cos theta. So, this will be hence 1 minus cos 3 pi by 8. Similarly, if you apply cos ratio to this particular angle on both sides, I mean this particular uh, equation on both sides, you will get the value of cos 7 pi by 8 which is hence it is becoming 1 minus cos of minus 1 minus cos of pi by 8. Now simplifying this you see the first bracket and the last bracket a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square. So you will get this and similarly the middle two brackets a square minus b square. So you will get that. Now you have to simplify this each of the bracket alright. So on the next line we can consider calculating cos pi by 8. First of all pi by 8 is equals to 180 by 8 which is equals to you know. 90 by 4 which is equals to 45 by 2. So basically pi by 8 is 45 by 2 half of the 45 degrees. So you can find out the value of cos pi by 8 with the help of the formula of half angle that it is 1 plus root I mean root over 1 plus cos of 45 degrees whole divided by 2. You must be knowing this formula that cos x by 2 can be calculated as plus or minus root over 1 plus cos x by 2. Now why I only took plus here because this cos 45 degree angle is in the this cos 45 degree is positive in the first quadrant because of the angle lying in the first quadrant right. So therefore this is equals to root over what are you getting 1 plus cos 45 1 by root 2. So, 1 by root 2 the whole divided by 2 if you simplify further you will get root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 as the value of cos pi by 8 but there you require square of it right. So, we will substitute that again calculating about the 3 pi by 8 value cos 3 pi by 8 if you know this is cos of you know 3 into 45 by 2 right. So, it is becoming 135 by 2 which is the half of 135 right. So, you can similarly hence calculate this as root over 1 plus cos of 135 by 2 cos 135 you can find cos of 90 plus 45 which is the second quadrant minus sin 45. So, you will get the same answer as above but here minus will come right. So, root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2. So, now I am substituting these values here in earlier step. So, what do you get? root is getting cancelled right. So, you are getting the bracket as uh, the first bracket as the value of cos square pi by 8 which is 1 minus you got it root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 and the second bracket 1 minus root 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. So, if you simplify this further, simplify this further this you get 1 minus you can do the simplification 2 root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 minus root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2. 
So you can see the simplification root 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 into root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 which is reducing to root 2 minus 1 root 2 plus 1 a square minus b square formula. So, it is 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 4 into 2 which is 8. So, you are getting 1 by 8 as the simplest answer and hence the answer to this question option number D. Alright. Now, coming upon to the next question. So, to find out the simplest value of a in this particular question, we have to apply the transformation formula cos c minus cos d. What is the formula? Minus 2 sin c plus d by 2. So, 12 plus 36 by 2 which will be 48 by 2 that is 24 degrees and sin a minus b which will be minus 24 by 2 right. So, minus minus they are becoming plus. So, sin 12 remain is not it. Now, the second bracket sin 96 degrees plus sin 24 degrees it is here you have to apply the formula of sin c plus sin d which is 2 times sin c plus d by 2 that is there you have 110 plus 10 that is 120 by 2 sin 60 into cos c minus d. So, when you are doing c minus d there you are getting 72 degrees divide by 2 it is happening. So, you have cos of 36 degrees there ok that is all about a. Now, we have denominator b also to simplify. So, so in this formula sin c minus sin d formula we have 2 times cos c plus d by 2 60 plus 12 that is 72 by 2. So, you will get 36 and sin c minus d 60 minus 12 48 by 2 that is sin 24 degrees and this is multiplied to there is another term. So, considering that that is into cos c minus cos d formula. So, minus 2 minus 2 times sin c plus d 48 plus 72 it would be 120 by 2 again. So, you have sin 60 again here into and into sin c minus d by 2 72 minus 48 you are going getting there 24 by 2 you do 12. So, here you are getting sin 12, but here it will be minus right. So, this minus is becoming plus because minus sin you will get here sin of sin of minus theta is minus sin theta is not it. So, now simplify you see the every term which is in the numerator repeated in the denominator you check sin 24 by sin 24 sin 12 by sin 12 cos 36 by cos 36 sin 60 by sin 60. So, overall the ratio is 1 is to 1. So, 1 the value of a by b is 1 ok. So, option c. Now, coming to the last question of this session, here you know x cos theta plus y sin theta is z to calculate for x sin theta minus y, x sin theta minus y cos theta the whole square. So, you want basically the square of this term, but before find this, we find the square, we can assume that term to be certain say k, ok. And what is the given equation? x cos theta plus y sin theta equals to z. And all such equations you can you know just handle this equation by squaring and adding together. So, equation 1 and 2 if you square and add. So, what do you get? x square sin square theta plus x square cos square theta right. When you say square and add you are adding here the square of this with the square of the term which is in the second equation in the LHS. So, what I am actually doing here is that let me write. So, the square of this x sin theta minus y cos theta will be x square sin square theta plus y square cos square theta minus 2 x y sin theta into cos theta. This is added to the square of the LHS that is a plus b whole square formula now. So, x square cos square theta plus y square sin square theta plus 2 x y sin theta into cos theta right side we have k square plus z square. So, you see that quickly that this term sin theta into cos theta based term is totally getting cancelled in that process and x square sin square theta plus x square cos square theta there remains x square and there one is the result of sin square theta plus cos square theta. Similarly, y square cos square theta and plus y square sin square theta reduced to y square equals to you got k square plus z square. So, now you see then k square value which you demanded there in the problem k square value is simply x square plus y square minus z square which is in the option number 8.
and hence the answer option A to this question. All right. Hopefully, solutions are clear to you. Stay tuned. I'll bring another session on this topic with questions from different topic of the trigonometry, like maybe on inverse trigonometry and coming with the properties of triangle-based questions. All right. So stay.